What's up, guys? Welcome to the show. So let's get the popcorn pop and get the source pouring. Hurry up, make love to your wife, and get right back out of here because it's time for the Lucha Libre New Slash Round Show. Only on Peter, buddy. Uh, that is right. This is everybody's favorite show. So let's just dive right into things. A few things might not be a very long show today, but whatever. Uh, so this Friday, uh, being tomorrow, will be the Grand Prix. Uh, we will see uh, Team Mexico versus the rest of the world. Uh, each team looks actually pretty rather good, or rather pretty good. Uh, of course, this takes place uh, in the CMLL. This is the CMLL Grand Prix. It is going to be held tomorrow. Uh, we will see Big Daddy, Yum Yum, Jay Briscoe, Negaro, uh, Luke Hawks, uh, Delirious, uh, will all be a part of the uh, event amongst uh, others. Uh, I am definitely looking forward to this. I always enjoy the Grand Prix uh, every year. Uh, I'm definitely hoping, again, that Team Mexico, of course, wins the Grand Prix, but we'll definitely see. My prediction is that Team Mexico will win it, and we will probably see uh, Converno uh, being the one that pulls out the win uh, for the team. I'm definitely uh, hoping that this is a rather good event. Usually the Grand Prix always is. Like, it never uh, fails to uh, amaze me. Like, it's it's always a rather good event. It's always a rather good uh, thing to watch. Uh, definitely check it out. I'm sure you could watch it on the CMLL's uh, YouTube uh, page. I believe they will be uh, broadcasting it on there. IWRG uh, versus Triple A was held the other day. Uh, I would have to say that uh, this definitely bummed me out that the event took place in the IWRG arena. It would have been better to see it in a Triple A arena as Triple A uh, has better lighting, a better ring. Uh, and definitely better fans than the IWRG do. Uh, the IWRG arenas, it's just, it's really dim. It's kind of really small. It seems very cramped. Uh, it's it's not really fun to watch IWRG matches just because the arena is, of course, so bad. So it would have been a, a lot better if they held it in the AAA uh, arena. The event, however, was definitely not good as I thought it would have been. I thought it would have been a, a lot better. Most of the matches were uh, pretty slow. It was Some of them were botched pretty good uh i definitely would give, give this event a 4.5 out of 10 as i thought it would have been a lot better and it could it could have been a lot better and it should have been a lot better uh they could have had more top guys in this event they could have uh pushed it a little bit harder they could have made it a lot better and like i said they could have put it in a uh triple a uh arena rather than having it in a uh, iwrg arena but what are you gonna do right uh, so CMLL on the 27th of this month was actually a, a rather good uh, event uh, for sure. Uh, we've seen Angelito and Ultimo uh, Dragonato uh, beat uh, Nitro and Mercero uh, in a pretty decent matchup. I mean, it was a good way to kick off the CMLL. It wasn't a great matchup, but it was still pretty good. Uh, Robin uh, ended up winning his matchup against... Graco. Now, this was actually one of Robin's better matches. Uh, it was not amazing, but it was still really good. Uh, Robin, it seems like every time this guy comes out, I mean, he's getting a little bit better. He's getting more and more better. Like, every time uh, he has a match, and his matches seem to be getting better and better. And this was definitely one of the best matches I've, I've seen of him, for sure. Maybe because it was a singles matchup. Maybe because we mostly uh, get him in the trio tag matchups and the tag matchups that uh, he doesn't really get to display his single uh, ability, but he did really good in this matchup, and uh, it was definitely one of the best matchups I've seen for him. Now, in another matchup, we've seen Espanto Jr., uh, Son of Signal, and Nitro. Uh, they ended up beating the team of Super Astro Jr., Star Jr., and Pegaso. Now, this was, matchup was definitely one that shocked me a little bit, for sure. The team of Super Astro Jr., Star Jr., and Pegaso is one of the, one hell of a great team. Like, they actually did a good job throwing these three guys together. That, that, that's just a great main event type team. Like, really, really great team. I probably would take those guys to actually go all the way, if they kept them together, all the way up to the Trail, Trails Champions. Definitely uh, Espanto's team, however, I thought was 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 good I, not not taking anything away from espanto's team uh espanto jr is one of my uh all-time favorite luchadors of today uh 
they they did great and they definitely deserved the win. I was just surprised at that as uh, the other team just said they seemed to be, uh, you know, it was such a good team, basically. It, it was a really good force. Um, anyway, we've seen uh, Black Panther uh, teaming up with a Blue Panther Jr. and Guerrero Maya Jr. Uh, to beat uh, Cancer Barrel, uh, Razul, and Van Vangeli. Uh, no a real surprise to that at all. Guerrero Mayo Jr. has been uh, definitely uh, earning it for me for sure. When I first started seeing this guy, I wasn't really good, a big fan of him when he first came around. But uh, I mean, every every time I watch him, he's one of those guys that just gets better and better and better and better. Uh, I definitely uh, think that he will make his way to a main event caliber. Not really there yet, but uh, you know, it was still, still a good matchup. Uh, I definitely give this... Uh, whole entire uh that those are there, there's more matches the other two matches ended up in dq not really worth talking about this is really all the matches that were worth talking about on the event i however give this uh event uh eight out of ten uh just because the last two matches ended in dq and it i mean it could have been better for what it was but you know for what it was it was still really rather good uh yeah so let's move on uh CMLL's uh, Triton uh, has announced that he will be uh, leaving the CMLL. He will be moving on. Of course, he will be working the ROH Global War Tour uh, as, uh, represent, uh, as representing the CMLL. But after that, he is going to be uh, heading to work for uh, a few U.S. promotions and uh, working as an independent. Uh, I'm sure that we'll probably see him around in the crash. I'm sure it would be nice to see him in, uh, you know, AAA and, you know, um, COSA, maybe even the IWRG. It would be nice to see him uh, in, in Lucha Libre Real, maybe. Um, it, it would be nice to see him in, in, in other places as well. Uh, it would be nice if he didn't just kind of drop off the face of the earth. Uh, Triton is a good uh, luchador, and I would definitely like to see him in other places, definitely. Uh, also, uh, sorry for the, the, the pause there. Uh, Lucha Libre uh, legend Dr. Cronite uh, ended up passing away on uh, Monday. Uh, he was, of course, the father of uh, Mystico and or Mystico slash Christico. Uh, he did. He fought. Uh, he spent his early years fighting throughout the 60s and 70s. Uh, he would definitely be missed by everybody uh, for sure. There were several uh, different luchadors that, of course, went by his name. So there's a probably a lot of confusion as to which one it was but i'm sure if you looked it up you could definitely find it but anyway guys that's just the uh video for today don't forget to like comment subscribe you love much and we will check you in the next video